Hello everyone, we're here at Kennedy Station and today we're going to be taking another journey but this time on Line 2, Lord Danforth. We're going to take a look at some secrets that you might have missed while traveling. Let's go. Now, before I get on the train, I must mention that this, this station right here, Kennedy Station, is going to be the future terminus of the Line 5 Eglinton LRT line, which is scheduled to open in 2021. All right, let's hop on the train. Alright, so here at Victoria Park Station, near the bus terminal, but there's a cool little fact that you may not know. Did you know that if you wanted to get off the subway and then go to the buses, you'd have to walk through an extra set of turnstiles because they were actually in separate fare zones, and that was until about 2010 or so. All right, so we're here at Main Street Station, and you may not know this, but this is actually the northernmost streetcar terminus on the entire TTC network. Looking at the map, it doesn't look like it. You'd think it's St. Clair Station, but actually, if you use Google Maps, you'll notice that you know the Earth's tilted a little bit, and because, just because of that, Main Street Station is technically north of St. Clair. All right, so staying on the topic of streetcars, we're here at Woodbine Station now, and if you look down, there's actually old streetcar tracks. These were actually in use until 1968 when the subway line took over the rest of the streetcar line. All right, so now we're here at Pape Station and still staying on the topic of streetcars, there is an old loop here called the Lipton Loop, which had the old Harvard streetcar line and the 56 Leaside bus route. The 56 Leaside bus route still exists, however, does not serve this station. It serves Dawnland Station, which is to the east. So now we're here at Chester Station, and you may not know this, but if you look on the map, there's actually no daytime bus connection at this station. So don't wait for a bus here. All right, so now we're near Castle Frank Station. Not actually at Castle Frank, but we're pretty close. And behind me used to be an old streetcar loop called the Viaduct Loop. And the Parliament streetcar served this loop until 1966 with the opening of the subway line. This, also, this change also had something to do with the streetcar being discontinued entirely in replacement for a bus service.
All right, so now we're here at base station, and you may not know this, but behind me, this set of doors here leads to a lower platform, which was opened in 1966 along with the rest of the station, but was discontinued after only six short months. This is because the two platforms made the service a lot more confusing. But you may, not, may also not know this, but the signals, the tracks, everything down there is still live and active. TTC still uses it today for things such as movie shoots or training, and sometimes even open houses for the public. It's pretty cool. All right, so now we're here at Christie Station, and tell me if you see something a little bit odd here. You don't see it? Take a look at the tiles. So you notice how it's green here? And then past this little gap here, it turns brown. It's weird, right? Okay, well, let me explain. So in 1976, there was actually a subway fire here during a late night train. And because of that, ended up destroying part of the platform here, and then they decided to put brown tiles instead of the green that you see up here. All right, so now we're here at Kiel Station. We're actually at the second entrance, and you may not know this, but in 1966, the bus platform, and there also used to be streetcar serving the station too, they were actually separate loops. So people who wanted to transfer from a bus to a streetcar would have to walk along one of the subway platforms to get to the streetcars. Of course, this ended in 1968 when the subway line was extended to Islington. All right, so now we're here at Islington Station, where there's another little secret that you might not know about. No, it's not all these wonderful pigeons here. But actually, it's the fact that the bus platforms and the subway platform used to be in separate fare zones, just like at Victoria Park, like that I mentioned earlier in the video. All right, so now we're here at Kipling Station, the western terminus of Line 2. You may not know this, but they were originally going to plan to build an Etobicoke LRT line. This would be the platform for it right here. But as you can see, they never went through with the idea. Also, you might want to know this, but east of the station, they're planning to build a regional terminal for MyWay and Go Transit services, so it will be easier connections for all the services for TTC, MyWay, and Go all together at once. And that concludes this trip on line two. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to throw us a like. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below. And we'll see you in the next video. Ooh, what is that? <laughs> the little trolls live there, be careful.